In this lesson, we'll cover how to set up the MV for use with an anamorphic lens. If using an anamorphic lens, it's critical you perform the steps covered in this lesson before configuring your aspect ratio in the MV using the screen boundaries function, which we'll cover in an upcoming lesson. An anamorphic lens is a special attachment for projectors that allows you to utilize the full panel of the display when watching scope movies in 235 or 240 aspect ratios. These lenses enable you to boost the brightness and handle aspect ratio switching automatically between 16x9 and scope movies. However, these lenses do not support auto aspect ratio switching for in-between aspect ratios, such as 2.2 and 2.0, which are becoming increasingly popular, or for 4x3 content, which has made appearances in recent movies and TV shows. At any rate, you won't need an anamorphic lens for any aspect ratio handling with the Envy since it automatically handles every possible aspect ratio for you. However, the brightness boost from an anamorphic lens can be beneficial for HDR viewing, especially for those with large, lower gain screens and projectors under about 3000 lumens. If you haven't already done so, attach your anamorphic lens to the projector and follow the manufacturer's recommendations for alignment, just as if you were not using an Envy. However, it's critical to turn off the anamorphic scaling option in your projector. Instead, we'll configure the Envy to perform this function. Also, any aspect setting in the projector should be set to auto, normal, or whichever setting displays the image without any zooming or cropping. Lastly, check that any blanking or masking option you may have used in the projector from a previous installation is turned off. To begin, Bring up the Envy screen configuration menu and set the anamorphic option to yes. Then from the stretch factor submenu, choose the value as recommended by the lens manufacturer. For example, if using the Panamorph DCR lens, set the stretch factor to 1.25. Note that the 1.33 stretch factor is also a common choice for other lenses. To finish, remember to save your changes to the base layer. Now, you may have noticed that after enabling this option, the image looks distorted here. Don't worry, that's to be expected only when watching this lesson, since you're not viewing the image through the anamorphic lens. The anamorphic stretch counteracts the lens's effect, so the projected image will appear normal when viewed through the lens. That said, anamorphic lenses typically create either barrel or pincushion distortion, which is particularly noticeable along the perimeter of the screen and may also be visible across the entire screen, depending on the content. For example, this can occur when viewing a grid of movie posters or apps on a Kaleidoscape or Apple TV. This issue can be largely mitigated by zooming the image out a few inches along your screen's masking. However, this isn't ideal because most viewers prefer not to lose any content around the edges of the image, and also prefer not to have any light spill on their masking. Also, this technique does not resolve the issue of the slight looking through a bubble effect that some people notice. To properly handle this, the MV Extreme provides geometry correction, which completely eliminates barrel and pincushion distortion. This ensures perfectly squared edges and flattens any bubble effect. We'll cover how to set up geometry control in an upcoming lesson. Okay, now that we covered how to set up an anamorphic lens, it's time to move on to our next lesson.